Hi guys, this is Kingsman GTV and I welcome you to this channel. Yeah, I have some interesting updates to share with you. Guys, uh, big up to all the subscribers. Eh? Charlie, if we do all, big up, eh? keep on supporting. You do all, thanks. Eh? If today's your first time watching me, subscribe to the channel. We have a lot to share. Like the video for me and then the bell icon, eh? click on it, you'll see all. Click on all, you'll get notification anytime I'll drop any video. Yeah. One Don Chatawale um, said to release the GOG album a long time ago. We've been waiting for this album and finally it is in the pipeline coming. Yeah. So before the album, you know, before he released the official, you know, he, he, he has released a lot of cover art for the album. And according to him, he said each and every cover art has a meaning. Yeah. He announced to release the official one and it is out. So the official cover art for the GOG album has a picture of the king Chaturali on it, on a queen with seven stars around it and the title gift of god uh -huh, beneath the picture in this video i'm going to break it down in my own understanding and i know it might not be different from what they also think yeah so let's first of all start with the picture on the cover so this picture um according to shatawale in an interview he said this is one of the pictures he loves the most and uh, this he has some connection with the picture you get it and according to one one he said the picture gives him a uh, masa musa vibe or it reminds him of masa musa so who is masa musa let's go to um, what history um, has for us so history will tell you uh, or wikipedia will tell you that masa musa um, was the ninth masa of the mali empire which reached its territorial peak during his reign masa uh, musa is known for his worth and gift uh, giving and has sometimes been called the worthiest person in history basically they are telling you that masa musa uh, was a king who gets money by then times i check um uh, mali uh, empire no? he, he reigned for a very long time no wusika he, he was a very rich man he according to shatawale he said the picture reminds him of uh, masa musa especially the scarf around his head you know yeah, so he's telling you that he gave money like Masa Musa. He gave money. No wonder he's always telling you that I be, I be, I be rich guy. I gave money. Uh huh. That is the picture for you. Let's go on to the seven stars on the uh, cover art. Now, the stars are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven in history, uh, the number seven in history, that was um, ancient time, you know. Um, it, they they, they, they um, said seven represents fullness or completeness that was ancient time no? the number seven represents fullness or completeness that is to tell you that the album is full the album is complete finally it is coming now at the same time the stars are seven let's let me take you back small it's it's it could mean that shatowale is uh, reflecting back then times when he was bandana yes um the word or the name bandana gives you seven characters or seven uh, alphabet um, hence seven stars yeah um somewhere 2004 to 2005 a whole baby shatowale uh, was charlie reduce i mean producing some bangers with chinese mokoho bandana from gun now at that time he went off he went to hide he went to learn and he came back then i mean 10 years later that was 2013 he started raining again so 2013 to 2020 2020, he said to release um, GOG album. So from 2013 to 2020 is seven years. Hence, seven stars on the cover art. Charlie, the stars has meaning. Now, let's move on to the whole thing. The whole thing is a coin. 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 A coin with some gold um, color. Just to tell you, coin is, is, is I mean, um, for trade. Um, coin means you get money. So this album is going to give him money. It is going to generate money. It is also a form of exchange, foreign exchange. The album is going to the international, which he will get money. That is why you are seeing the coin over there. Yeah. The, at the same time, he gets money. You know, he say, I be, I be rich. You are seeing the coin over there. You get it. Uh -huh. And then the gold color too it gives you uh, some kind of worthy. Uh -huh. Gold is precious. So Wale is precious. Yeah. Uh -huh, yes so then the title of the album gog under the picture yes this is basically my understanding of the cover hat and i know it might not be different from what they also 
uh, have in mind. You get it. So uh, the first track on the GOG album, um, the cover art has also been released, and the title is uh, Cash Out. Yes, Cash Out. So I don't know if it's, this one is about Momo. You are going to allow Cash Out. Uh -huh. Yeah. So uh, it is produced by Good Up Music and uh, mastered by Shatawali, the Maker Studio. So Good Up, you know Good Up. Uh, they, they, they are record label. They are based in Canada and then Jamaica. They have been working with Wandon. Uh -huh. So this one is produced by the Shatawali. Um, posted it that the first track on the GOG album will make people love him, and this one, yes, so he's going to release it on his birthday that is 17th, you know. Yeah, so title Cash Out, first track on the GOG album, get ready for that one too. It is going to be mad. Allow Cash Out, allow Cash Out. Uh -huh. What do you think about my, uh, <laughs> my um, understanding of this whole thing? Put it in the comment section if you have any comments, put it there, like the video. And then, Charlie, invite people, make them come. We have a lot to share. This is Kings One. Stay tuned.